The Hollywood Reporter, they did an in-depth article about the final days of the Wendy Williams show. They made us take a look into exactly what went on behind the scenes, explains a lot of the mystery that was surrounding why Wendy was not coming back. Um, they spoke, had execs talk. Wendy's manager, the one that she had mentioned, Bernie Young, it mentions him and what he had to say. And they're explaining to us the reason why Wendy's show is done. So I read the whole article. I took notes. I'm just going to go through everything that I've written down to just talk about because it was very lengthy. So, you know, I did read all of it and I'm just going to sum up what I read and what they're reporting regarding this whole Wendy Williams situation and the way she was didn't get a proper farewell in a lot of people's eyes, including mine. I didn't appreciate the farewell episode. Come to find out, they weren't even going to do that at all. It was just going to be an episode, which would have been the final episode, and they wouldn't weren't even going to acknowledge Wendy at all at one point. That was that was highly considered. So, I'm just going to go through what I have, right? Okay. So, we know that in September 2021, Television execs went to Wendy's apartment in New York City. And remember, the season was supposed to start September 20th. We were all waiting. You know, remember COVID had slowed everything down, but September 20th was the beginning of a new season for Wendy. And it was ended up being pushed back. Now, we, I know, I initially thought when they, when it didn't start and then they gave us another start date like the following week or two and then that didn't happen and it's like okay they're still prolonging it and you know um just holding people off waiting like for the show to start and then when it did start it was started it started with a guest host so they're reporting that the staff was extremely worried they hadn't seen or spoken to wendy so the execs planned, the reason for them going to her home, they planned for her to do a Zoom meeting with the staff to reassure them, to let them know what was going on, catch them up to date, because they are, as they should have been, worried regarding their jobs. And I know I've made videos, and I know I say I don't want Sherry Shepard there and she's replacing Wendy. It's it's already done. It's established. It's in the works. It's going to happen. This is, is nothing that no one can change. And as far as the staff members, I totally can understand if this was the case, a new season was supposed to start and it didn't start. And, you know, they are holding out on it and they're postponing it. And the staff at this point hasn't heard from Wendy. They don't know what's going on. So the execs are like, you know what, you got to at least talk to your staff and explain the situation. So they came to her home to do a Zoom call. One of the execs said that Wendy was fine when they arrived and they were re rehearsing what she, it was that she had to say to the staff, you know, just go over everything that she has to address. And they said she got on the Zoom call and started rambling and not seeming like herself. She kept telling them she was fine, she was going to be fine, and the execs ended up ending the Zoom call before, you know, they expected to because of what Wendy was saying to the staff. Someone else who was on the Zoom call that wasn't at Wendy's home but was on the Zoom call said that the staff was shocked, surprised at Wendy's behavior. Wendy kept saying she'd be back soon, but the staff wasn't believing it because, you know, they were seeing firsthand exactly the state that Wendy Williams was, was actually in. They were seeing that. So this is why they started having guest hosts. So they were initially supposed to start with Wendy. They pushed it back for like a couple of weeks, and then they pushed it back again after those two weeks. And had the meeting that didn't go well, so now they're like, you know what, we're going to have guest hosts. Now, after that, a couple of months after having guest hosts, 
they decided that that was going to be the last season of Wendy. It was season 13. They decided it was going to be the last season. So before we get into everything regarding the process of that happening, they went to, on to backtrack to where Wendy's problems really started happening. And I, as a viewer, noticed the same thing because it wasn't, not only once Wendy announced the divorce with Kevin in which, you know, we realized that they were really done and everything, you know, he had the baby with the, the mistress. So that Halloween episode, when she passed out on air in front of all of us, that was the beginning of the downfall as far as the Wendy Williams show was concerned. Wendy never actually was the same after that incident happened, even though she was still putting on a show and coming in. But this was really the start of it. And this was in 2017 is when this happened, Halloween of 2017. So they make it clear that's when things went downhill from there. Before, Wendy was in a sober house. And she was also at a rehab facility in Florida, which was paid for by Debmar Mercury. So they were assisting and helping with Wendy, trying to, you know, help her out, beat her addiction, whatever the case was with her. But during that, that time span from 2017 up until 2021, the staff, they say that they witnessed things, the producers witnessed things, and it was questioning Wendy's sobriety. So messages were being sent around, you know, people questioning what was going on. They also said her sobriety was questioned on at least 25 occasions. This is what they're reporting. Over 25 occasion, occasions is when Wendy's sobriety was being questioned by staff and producers. And they would have to make calls about Wendy going live at 10 a.m. It came to the point where now they are having to literally decide every morning about her going live at 10 a.m. They said Wendy was insisting that she was fine. And they said that their main issue was the second taping that Wendy Williams would do. So we all know Wendy Williams would come on Monday through Friday with all new episodes. But the Friday, sh the Friday show that would air was always a taped show. It was never live. Monday through Thursday were live episodes, but Fridays would be an episode that was taped. So it would be a day during that week that they would have to tape that second episode. So what they're saying is when she would tape the second episode is when they would really worry because I'm assuming she's doing two shows in a day. So, you know, you're, you're in the building all day. You have to eat. You know, it's, she's in her office in between shows. So they're worried about that second taping that would air later on in the week, which would be Friday. They said that the producers would watch the episode to see if Wendy appeared under the influence. So they tape it in advance, watch it back, and see if she was under the influence. And they said usually it was okay, but there was one time in which they aired a rerun in its place because I'm assuming Wendy just was not um, sober enough. And they're also claiming, reporting, that the staff found bottles hidden in the ceiling in other areas of her office. So there were wine bottles stashed in the ceilings, stashed wherever else in hidden places in her office that people would find. And if this is truly what was happening, this is just, it's sad. To really read this and see the behind the scenes of exactly what was going on with Wendy Williams is a sad situation to know that she was clearly drinking the way she was. And we all can tell. The re I know they said they had to scrap one of the episodes and do a rerun in its place. I can tell those days when Wendy seemed like she was a little bit looser than usual. It's just the way she would talk, her behavior. So I'm assuming now that it's been episodes that have clearly aired and she was under the influence. It's as simple as that. Um, and I can tell those moments because of how she would act. So now they're saying in the article that the doctors tried to find the root of the issue other than alcohol because 
Wendy was having memory loss. She was having hallucinations. It was becoming very apparent that it was something wrong with her. They had her seeing top experts, the top doctors, you know, to be seen. And now we're going to fast forward to season 13, the latest season with all of the guest hosting, then Sherry Shepard, you know, filling in. This is the season they were supposed to shoot the promo video for season 13. And Wendy did not make it due to, due to being in the hospital the night before. She was supposed to film that promo a week later and she didn't make it to do that. So this is when there would be commercials postponing the new season. I do, it, even I remember, I remember that season. I remember it just things were, were delayed a lot. It was, it was delayed a lot. So I do know what they're talking about. So now they're saying Wendy was being hospitalized and ended up catching COVID. This is delaying the premiere more, but they were more okay with the fact that it was COVID because they can actually say this is what's wrong with her before they couldn't really come out and say what the real issue was. So now she had COVID and I do remember them saying that. I, re I remember all of this. I remember COVID being announced that Wendy caught COVID. So now this is another postponement because of this. So now the stations, they're tired. And this is when they said, we're going to just have to have guest hosts until Wendy could come back. But they were thinking that Wendy was coming back. At, at this point, they're just like, okay, things are being delayed. But at the end, we know she's coming back. So the guest host thing was really supposed to really just be a fill-in. It was not supposed to last and turn out to be the whole remainder of that entire season, having those guest hosts. So we, we remember that Leah Remini used to be one of the guest hosts, her and another woman. I forget the, the woman's name. But Leah was already shopping to get her own show. And this is why she was chosen to do guest host filling. It's pretty much like, let us, you know, um, this is your chance now to show us what you can do. So that's why Leah Remini was chosen. And then we know we had Michael Rappaport. Vivica Fox, we had Fat Joe and Remy. In total, there were 16 guest hosts. And then of course, Sherry Shepard was one of them. And they sang out of all of the guest hosts that were there, Sherry Shepard brought in, the, brought in the highest ratings. And she also had experience being a host on The View, which we know she did in the past, right? Um, so there were others who were considered to be a host, but Sherry's the one they chose because she had experience and there were other people, but they really didn't have um, experience. But other guest hosts who were, who were chosen, or at least considered, I should say, other guest hosts that were considered rejected the offer because they didn't like Wendy. And that's one thing that they spoke about in the article when it came to Wendy booking guests and things like that. Um, they think that Sherry Shepard is going to not have an issue with booking bigger guests versus how Wendy was because a lot of people didn't like the things Wendy said about them. And that can be fine and dandy. The thing is, that can be fine and dandy, but just because Sherry can book bigger guests does not guarantee that the show will do great rating ratings wise. Because look at what Nick Cannon did when he was when he had his show for this um, short period of time. He had a lot of guests on his show. A lot of guests on his show that wouldn't come to Wendy's show. And his show tanked. So I get what they're saying as far as, okay, yeah, it, it's harder to book people for Wendy. It's not going to be as hard for Sherry. Okay, but does that mean that Sherry's show is going to be a good show? It doesn't matter who the guests are. It's a This is your show. It's about how... She comes off as a host in the way she entertains her viewers, not Wendy's viewers, her own viewers. So now, after the whole situation with the guests, you know, booking the guest hosts, Wendy ended up going to Florida, which we do know because there was um, footage that was posted of her on the beach. So remember, we saw that her son was videotaping her and, and speaking to her. So Wendy was in Florida to be with her family. Her family wanted to help her out, you know, um, her son, her father. And what ended up happening was 
some sort of communication problem because once Wendy was in Florida, none of the execs and people from the Wendy show were able to reach Wendy, even her manager, Bernie, who she's who she said his name a lot of times. He wasn't even able to reach her. And there's they said that because this happened, this was really pretty much giving the Wendy show no other choice but to finalize that they were done with Wendy. And the way it works is, is that they have to, they set up their seasons in advance. So being that now Sherry is starting this September of 2022, this had to have been finalized last year in 2021 because they have to prep, they have to, you know, everything has to be done business-wise. So they had to finalize this new season that's starting in September last year. And because everything was going on with Wendy, they were not feeling stable and secure with Wendy. She was having this erratic behavior. They had to hurry up and sign off on someone or they would lose the TV time slot. They would lose the show if they did not finalize and have, you know, a host. So what happened after that was that the doctors... Um, oh, no, not the doctors. I'm sorry. I'm looking at a different note. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay. So now a crisis PR specialist made an announcement saying that Wendy was okay with Sherry, you know, hosting. And I remember the statement because I knew that it, that didn't sound like Wendy. She was just basically bowing out and saying, yeah, Sherry's the host. But that was all a PR stunt to make us think that things were smoothed over. That's when Wendy went on her um, Instagram. She created a whole new page. Remember, Wendy was locked out of the Wendy Show Instagram. So she created her own Instagram and then started posting from that. So, you know, she debunked that saying that I'd never made a statement. They're making statements on behalf of me. So after that, Wendy ended up, and I actually have actually a photo. This is when she was going off and she was talking about the Wells Fargo. So Okay, so now they said Wendy was calling the execs asking about her show being canceled. Once that statement was made about her show being canceled and Sherry replacing her and her supposedly acting as if she was okay with that. So once Wendy caught wind of that, she called the execs asking about her show being canceled, and she was told that a decision had to be made, being that they had not heard from her and that she just left and was in Florida. They also said they couldn't contact her. Her phone was off, like they could not get in touch with her. So they explained to her that Sherry would be the host, and Wendy asked if she could come on at 11 a.m. They told her no because she needed to come back to New York and show proof that she was okay. They needed a medical clearance. They said they hadn't heard from her in nine months. So no, she wouldn't be able to come on at 11. Over the next four months, Wendy was told several times. So what they're saying is that she was not grasping and understanding the fact that she was no longer, you know, she no longer had a show. They said, after that decision, she was told several times over the next four months that there, there were phone calls explaining this, and they also had a sit-down lunch with her in New York to talk about this, this happening and this, the decision that they made. They said every time that she was told, it was like she was being told this for the first time. So It's like she literally could not believe what they were saying because they said every time they had to tell her again, it was almost as if they were telling her the first time. Like she never knew that they were getting, you know, having a new hope. They explained to her that no one was going to risk money on her or the show. And it was at this point, they were just, they were just finished with Wendy and they were trying to let her know she wasn't trying to hear it. And that's, that's the situation with that. And it's just sad it's sad. Like, it's no way Wendy Williams show should end on this type of note that she really wasn't believing or understanding what they were saying. And that's sad to hear. That's just, just sad to know. Um, I know she was hurt behind that. And this just explains 
the behavior and the way she has been acting ever since. So when it comes to the Wells Fargo freezing her accounts, now they said it was due to her being an inca incapacitated person, a victim of undue influence and financial exploitation. A judge appointed a guardian over her finances and her manager, Bernie, the one that she made the video about talking about her money, that's the one I just posted earlier, this clip, when she made that video and she was talking about that it's not right, it's not fair, that they're taking her money, um, she has no access to her money, and she was very upset, and she mentioned that Lady Lori. So what happened with this is Wendy accused Bernie of charging $10,000 to her American Express account without her consent, and he's saying it was done to hire an attorney to file a petition against her. He used the money to hire a, a, a health lawyer, a mental health lawyer, and it was... It was to help her. So him do that whole thing with the ten thousand dollars. He's saying that wasn't him like taking money from her. He was using that to invest to help her out. That's what that was about. And we know Wendy, you know, wasn't trying to hear that. But that's what he's saying. This is that was his side of the story when it came to that. Um, he said he still hadn't even spoken to Wendy one on one. He found out he was fired from her through, I guess, her Instagram through the media. So that's the situation with him. And then we know that she has this new manager, the guy, Will, the jeweler that she's been working with, with the podcast situation. And he's also making it clear that Wendy is not married. He said that, yes, there was someone, but she's not married. And he is not there to use her in any way. He said he's one to have his own money. Um, he's a friend to Wendy. He just cares and he's trying to help her out. And she's a grown woman because I guess people are saying, well, why would you let her do this? And why would you let her do? He's like, listen, I can't control another human being, but so much like she's not in a jail cell. So her, it's no way he could have stopped her from getting on that call with Jason Lee and saying that she was married. Well, I just know it doesn't add up because she says she was married. We've yet to see her with someone. We've yet to anything. So if this is the type of erratic behavior that they are talking about that she does, I don't know how it's how she'll be able to handle a podcast because who's going to support it financially and promote it for her? I don't know who would take un, take her and contracts her for a podcast. I don't I don't understand. I, I don't know. I know he, what he said. Will, he said is that some days Wendy's fine. Some days she's not as, as fine. And it's okay. It doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. He's like, just bear with it. Support her. The podcast is coming is, is what I got from that. And also what these execs said, these are them. They said how Sherry is being blamed and she should not be. And even though we're getting this backstory to everything that happened, when it comes to what is presented in front of us, that is not the way it seemed. Sherry can sit and say all praise to Wendy and all this and all that, but Sherry's been trying to get a show. And so was Leah Remini. And Wendy knew that. Wendy knew the second she would leave that purple chair, she wasn't getting it back. Sherry's been looking for a show. She's been looking for a chance, an opportunity, and she has it now because of Wendy Williams not being able to do her show anymore. So this was very, very lengthy. Um, it was a lot that happened regarding all of the back end of everything when it comes to the show and what happened with Wendy. But I just remember... When we saw her like this, execs were worried because these pics had gotten out. She's walking in socks. This is when she had first gotten out, but she wasn't done with the Wendy show yet. They were still um, expecting her return. And then we know she did the TMZ interview. And this is when she showed her foot. Remember when she did the TMZ interview when she held up her foot showing it was swollen and discolored. But all in all, they are done with Wendy. 
Sherry will start in September. And that's what happened regarding Wendy Williams and all of the stuff going on behind the scenes and just detail and why they had to stop her show. They're saying they hadn't heard from her. She left. She stopped going, having contact with them. She was scaring the staff. She, it was a lot going on. She was having the alcohol, drinking on the job. And it's just sad. So I wish Wendy all the best. Guys, please leave a comment. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. This was a long video, one of the first long ones I've done. Um, I'm still rather new on YouTube. So I'm, I'm learning my way around here. And thank you for the support for all of you who listen, who are subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. And just thank you. So guys, until my next video, I'll talk to you guys again soon.